guys welcome back so now here in this session okay so there will be uh, one error has taken place for one of my students so i'll just do one thing uh here is the error where is the error yes uh, this is a very simple error this is related to number range right number range one is missing in company code ku02 okay this is by Prasant. Again, similar error is there. This is number range related issues, right? So number range related issues means now it is the error has taken place for another student. So the same thing, right? And the company code is ANS1 and this is the company code. I'll just do one thing. So I'll check for one company code. I'll solve it and then everybody can follow the same thing. So what I'll do okay so let me open the company code any transaction code guys either you can use fb50 or f02 right in both cases document type sa itself is going to be triggered let me change the company code i think an s1 yes give a date here real code and here itself if you give any number and if you press enter Right, look at here, number range 19, A and S1, right? It was showing 01, but now it is 19. It means somebody might have changed the number range. Let me check it. So go to OB, A7, and SA document type here. Now somebody has created, right? 19 earlier it was one right so i'll tell you guys the simple solution is go to your number in information and a n s1 here click on interval first of all you create one number range for 19 okay 2022 and here let's suppose 2002 299 okay save it then another error was so now here 19 if anybody is going to assign here 19 means again the candidate will be able to post the transactions why because we have created earlier what was the problem earlier you have given a number range here one right if you save it one then also what is happening you come back here and go to fb50 right and here now if you press enter Look at here, number range one is missing. Why? Because here you have given one. But the problem is the number range which you have created, that is zero one. So one is a different code and zero one is a different code. It's not like one or zero one, both are same, right? Zero one is two digit code, one is single digit code, right? So here system is not treating this zero one as a, uh, what to say, single unit in the sense one only system is treating this 01 as a different code and one as a different code right so this if you have to solve this error simply what you have to do you have to assign 01 here and then you will be able to so you just do one thing now here you won't be having error you press enter document type sa and entry is required in field document header it means somebody has made this header as a required entry so you just come down and remove the check mark from here right multiple errors are taking place now so once again fb50 give your gl code and any amount guys another gl a particular amount press enter now your entry is required in text just give and here also because these fields are getting control from field status variant no need to go over there simulate everything is fine just save it so global company ansu is not supported right 
So global company ANSU is not supported. What does it mean? You have to go to it means somebody has deleted the assignment. If you go to if you go to OX 16, right, and the company code is ANS1. So look at here, the company is assigned that is ANSU, right? But if you go to OX 15, so here ANSU is deleted by someone, right? So the company is not existed, whereas the assignment is still there. That is why this error is there. So you give ANSU here, okay? And you can give here ANSU itself, or you can give group. Give some details here quickly. Okay, just save it. So now this error also I have solved. Okay, press enter here. Once again, let me save it. It got posted. There is no any problem. Now this got posted. Right? And uh, there was another error that is related to tolerance group also, right? So tolerance means you have to be 57. Maybe no, the user ID is not there. So I think tolerance related issues will should not be there. Okay, tolerance related warning message was there. But anyway, the transaction got posted. However, I have just logged in through my user ID, so I don't have any tolerance related issues. But whenever, if anybody is are going to get tolerance related problem, first of all, you have to check whether against your user ID, any tolerance group is assigned or not. If it is assigned, it means your user ID is restricted for a particular tolerance group only, isn't it? And problem is, since you guys are creating multiple company code, this tolerance group belongs to one company code, right? So when you practice in a different company code, since your user ID, let's suppose I'm just quoting an example. This is one user ID, right? This user ID is logged against this tolerance group. Now, if this user has created five company code, out of this five company code, this tolerance group represent only one company code, right? So what about remaining company code? If this user is going to again post a transactions for other company code, then this user is going, going to get tolerance related problem, right? Because this tolerance group belongs to a particular company code only. So in that case, what do you have to do? You need to delete your user ID assignment here, right? And then when you are going to create the tolerance group, right here, when you create the tolerance group, don't enter any code here in group field. Just give here company code only. The logic I have already explained in the live classes, guys. If I'm going to explain once again, it will take too much time, isn't it? There'll be a multiple session I have already given. So now this is what the solution of tolerance related issues okay so finally what is happening the transaction got posted and even i'm having another company code also that was even i'm also getting the same error so for you dear same thing right for you also here number range one right so same same issue is there ku02 ku02 if you go to ku02 here slash and fb50 here KU02, right? Sorry. KU02, right? So for this one also, now I don't think there will be any problem. There is no problem, right? You can give your GL account, I think, maybe 4,000. And here, let's suppose one amount. If it is 1,000 credit, let's suppose one amount. And press enter. This one. Multiple fields you have made as a mandatory fields, right? Why this much here? What is this? What is this? Field related things? That is like too much experiment you have made. Isn't it? Go to uh, first of all OB41. Let me check it. If anybody has made any experiment here, I think OB41 should not be having. Go to uh, because if OB41 is multiple fields are mandatory in that case, every company code is going to get this issues, right? So previously I have tested for one company code. This issue was not there. Go to OBC4 and here in OBC4, I think your field status KU02. Yes, here. 
So multiple fields you might have made. Let me G001 itself here. Make it optional. So whenever you guys are going to make any experiment, after that, restore the settings. Here also, multiple fields unnecessarily you have made it like required, right? Here, plant, make it suppress or is like make it optional. Business area also make it optional and come down, come down, come down, save it again. Material payment related things, anything, just make it optional. Make it optional. Just save it. So, unnecessary experiment has been made here. All this, these things are not required. Field control means you have to check the relevant fields and all, right? You make it optional. Okay. So, now I hope it is going to be. Transactions are getting posted, I think, smoothly. Let me check it here. So, this is debit and credit again, a particular amount. Press enter. Yes, now everything is fine. And here, essay document type I have created number and I have assigned 01. Save it. And for this company code, also, of course, if you go to FB N1, then definitely 01 KU02. 01 number range is created look at here that is why this is how the transaction got posted here right so now it is fine in both company code same issue was there guys if any other company codes are there the way i have you know like solved these things and all you guys also have to follow the same thing simply number range right so here what happened you guys are giving 01 but against document type if you have given only one then system will treat 01 as a separate code and 1 as a separate code, right? Don't make such kind of mistake. These are the silly mistakes, okay?